Hello everyone, Shane here with RepairDesk. Today we'll be looking at how to use the Epson Printer Direct Integration in RepairDesk to get automatic prints for your store. Before we get started, make sure that your Epson Printer is connected to the same network as your system and that your printer IP address is printed for you. To receive your network information, connect your printer to your router through the Ethernet port and turn it on. Then, press and hold the reset button underneath the printer for up to 4 seconds with a pen tip. This will print a sheet from your printer that will have all the network information including the IP address. You will also need to have the Epson printer driver installed on your system. To install the Epson printer driver for Windows, you'll first need to download the driver from the Epson website. You can find a link to the Epson driver page in the video description. Once the driver has been downloaded, it's time to install. Extract the contents from the zip file and launch the installation files inside. You will be guided through the process as the drivers are installed. When the setup is complete, you'll be taken to a new window where you can register your printer. On this page, go to the port type underneath the communications section and select Ethernet. Then in the port field, enter the IP address you printed out. To complete the process, under the apply section, select set as a default printer and click save settings. Click on yes to print your test receipt and confirm that your printer is configured properly and then finish out the registration process. Once completed, open a new tab in your browser and use the printer IP as an address. If you receive a warning message that the site you're visiting is unsecured, you can safely ignore the warning for now and proceed to access it anyway. On the next screen, you'll be asked for a username and password. Type Epson in lowercase in both fields and proceed. We will come back to this page in just a moment. Now let's set up the integration in RepairDesk. Head on over to Store Settings. And from the sidebar under Hardware Settings, select Epson. Once your printer is connected, you'll be able to configure the settings for it when using RepairDesk. To enable automatic printing, please select Yes from the first option. Next, configure the options below from the interface type, select Ethernet. The port number is a fixed value that is generated automatically and does not need to be changed. The IP address needs to be specified, and your Epson printer should be able to print once it's connected to the network. Enter the IP address and click on Test Printer. This will print a confirmation message using the printer. The paper size is automatically set to 80 millimeters for now and does not need to be changed. Next, under General Settings, you can find the option to automatically print a receipt when a ticket is created and when an invoice is created. Once these are enabled, your receipt will print automatically when a ticket or an invoice is generated by the system. You can also have a reconciliation report printed by the Epson printer once your shift ends. Select Yes from the option and when you next close your shift and repair desk, a reconciliation report will automatically be printed. When you're all done, click on Save Changes button to confirm your settings and begin printing. 
You will now be able to print all thermal receipts automatically using your Epson printer across repair desk. Whether you're on a POS screen, the trade-in purchase screen, the invoice section, or anywhere else. Clicking on the print thermal receipt button will now automatically print the receipt to your designated Epson printer. You'll now see in your browser that it's showing that it's not secure. Let's go back to the printer setup page in the tab from earlier. From the left sidebar, go to the SSL TLS settings under the security section. Once here under the self-signed certificate section, click on the create button. This will take you to a new screen. Add your printer IP address, and then click on create to proceed. You will now be asked to reset your printer. Click on the reset button to move forward. Now click on the warning in the browser bar next to your printer IP. And click on certificate. You may need to refresh your tab until you see the issue 2 change to your printer IP address. Go to the Details tab and click on Copy to File. Follow the instructions and enter a destination and name for your file. And export it. Now go to your Chrome browser settings. Click on the security option, and then click on manage certificates. A new window will pop up. Go to the trusted root certification authorities tab and click on import to select the file you created. Follow the on-screen instructions to install the certificate successfully. If the warning doesn't go away, please reboot your PC. For more information, please consult our knowledge base article. We hope this integration will help you streamline your repair store and make printing a whole lot easier. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our RepairDesk team at support at repairdesk.co. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you stay safe and healthy.